Black Hole, how NASA's emergency warning system over a cataclysmic event disturbed scientists worldwide. Astronomers around the world were left scrambling for answers after they witnessed an emergency warning that was triggered over a black hole. This is what a documentary reveals. Callum Hoar of Express UK reports this. The black hole is a region of space and time exhibiting gravitational acceleration so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. These cosmic phenomena are said to form when massive stars collapse at the end of their life cycle, falling into themselves and engulfing other black holes to form what's known as supermassive black hole. Scientists were left slightly hot under the collar when they got a front row ticket to see this event unfolding more than 10 years ago, thanks to one of NASA's telescopes. It was revealed during YouTube series Monster Black Hole how researchers worldwide were put on high alert. The narrator says, March 29, 2008, astronomers around the world received an alert sent from an orbiting observatory called SWIFT. It had recorded a flash of gamma radiation, a kind of ultra-high energy light that is a signature of a cataclysmic event. SWIFT automatically relayed this information down to Earth and within seconds robotic telescopes in North and South America immediately turned their gaze to this direction of the rising light. Astronomers dialed into the data to see how bright and powerful the flash had become. The series went to reveal how researchers quickly worked to calculate what was going on. The narrator said, meanwhile, at giant observatories in Chile and Texas, they zero in on it and use specialized instruments to split the light into all its different wavelengths. That tells them how far the light had traveled to reach our Earth. What they find is it had come from 7.5 billion light years away, halfway across the visible universe. Tom Vestrand heads a robotic telescope project in Los Alamos National Lab in New Mexico. He's been tracking high-energy gamma ray bursts for over a decade and has never seen anything like this. Dr. Vestrand said, It was the most luminous thing ever detected by mankind. Traditionally, we think of astronomy as something that happens very slowly. But this was a thing that had been traveling to us for seven and a half billion years. Arriving here for 30 seconds, it was astonishingly bright minutes later, meaning it was still showing signs of saturation. The narrator concluded by revealing why scientists determined it was a black hole. He said it was so bright that it was visible to the naked eye. Putting together evidence from ground and space telescopes, Astronomers determined that the flash was a narrow but intense beam of light, most likely it broadcasted the birth of a black hole. This singular moment is the endpoint of a violent chain of events in the core of a large star. It was previously revealed how the team of Japanese scientists using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA telescope for short, captured details of a previously unknown structure located near the center of the Milky Way galaxy, our galaxy that is. Their analysis of its motion determined that it was an intermediate mass black hole whose cloud has been labeled HCN 0.009-0.044. Lead author of the study Shunya Takekawa wrote in March, detailed kinetic analysis reveals that an enormous mass, 30,000 times that of our sun, was concentrated in a region much smaller than our solar system. This and the lack of any observed object at that location strongly suggest an intermediate mass black hole. By analyzing another anom anomalous cloud, other anomalous clouds, he says we hope to expose other quiet black holes. The team discovered and suggested that many other similar black holes could be hidden around the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Their theory suggests that intermediate mass black holes might merge with each other 
and grow by swallowing surrounding material and in this way they form supermassive black holes. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.